Paul Susilo Bambang Yodo, you know, Wiranto, yourself, all ex-military. It seems that the Indonesian military still looms large in politics. Why do you think this is the case? Why are there so many former army figures in politics right now? When my generation entered the military, that was in the 70s, the military of Indonesia had very high prestige. The Indonesian National Army, the TNI, was an army of liberation. And it was a people's army. And I think the Indonesian society respected that. Majority of Indonesian people, in the end, in a critical situation, we look to the army as a, as a unifying force. They, they still believe in the loyalty, the credibility of the TNI. And I think this, this is the, the background why they, they feel comfortable with a, with a former military leader.